Celebrity Cruiser's newest ship, Celebrity Beyond, is the cruise line's largest and most elegant ship to date. Taking the Edge class to another level, quite literally, this 140,000 gross ton ship is perhaps our favorite new ship. If you want to know what it's like on Celebrity Beyond, then this video is for you, as we have the most complete Celebrity Beyond ship tour and walkthrough up next. Welcome aboard Cruisers, I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise so you can see the world one port at a time. And we're super excited to share our latest ship tour of Celebrity Beyond, as the ship is simply amazing. Like we do for all our ship tours, we're going to start at the very top of the ship and go deck by deck, showcasing all of the public venues, from the dining, to the bars and lounges, entertainment venues, and more. We cover every square inch of this ship, showcasing everything Celebrity Beyond has to offer. So let's get started. And we're actually going to start the ship tour on a brand new deck, Deck 17 at The Retreat. The Retreat has been elevated on Celebrity Beyond with an expanded two-story sun deck and redesigned exclusive spaces that are all in one central area. This helps to create a true resort within resort feel, much like the Haven on Norwegian Cruise Line or the Yacht Club on MSC. When compared to its two sister ships, the Retreat Sun Deck is 40% bigger on Celebrity Beyond when compared to Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex. This provides more open air spaces with plenty of loungers and seating areas on both Deck 17 and 16. At the Retreat Sun Deck, those staying in suites have access to a private pool. This inset pool faces out towards the bow of the ship. There are also two hot tubs for additional relaxation. Just past the pool is the outdoor retreat bar with some additional seating. The bar serves a ship's standard menu, so you can relax and sip your cocktails here or take it back to one of the loungers. Further, cruisers can curl up with a book in one of the secluded cabanas, or in one of Kelly Hoppin's chic new seating areas found on both sides of the retreat. This space creates a calming zen garden vibe. Also on deck 16 in the retreat, you'll find the Lumine restaurant. Lumine at the retreat is the exclusive restaurant for sweet guests on Celebrity Cruises. On Celebrity Beyond, this venue features a unique new design that's as bold as the cuisine served here. This private restaurant has been moved to the front of the ship and now offers panoramic floor to ceiling views for guests to enjoy during every meal. Lumine is open for breakfast, usually around 7.30 a.m. to 9 or 9.30 a.m. for lunch on sea days from noon to 1.30 p.m. and is open for dinner from 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. The menu at Lumine does rotate and offers more upscale selections then the main dining rooms. Some featured items include dishes designed by chef Daniel Balloud, the cruise line's global culinary ambassador. Finally, all the way forward, you'll find the Retreat Lounge, located on Deck 15, which also boasts an inviting new design and a new location with dramatic floor to ceiling views. You can take in ever-changing scenery whenever you stop by this lounge. For complimentary beverages, gourmet bites, or to simply unwind. You also have access to an exclusive concierge who will make any arrangements you need. There are over 200 retreat suites on Celebrity Beyond, including penthouse suites, edge villas, iconic suites, royal suites, celebrity suites, and a variety of sky suites. We had the opportunity to stay in a sky suite cabin 9148, and can attest the room was more spacious, elegant, and well-appointed than the aqua-class balcony cabin we stayed in during our second cruise on the ship. All suites in the retreat come with some additional perks, like personal butler service, priority service at check-in, disembarkation, and tendering ashore, reserved theater seats, expanded in cabin dining, premium robes and slippers, Upgraded bathroom amenities and more are additional benefits. 
all the way forward, the retreat area takes up decks 15, 16, and 17. Moving towards the middle of the ship, on deck 16, you'll find an open sun deck. This sun deck includes loungers mostly on the starboard side, with part of the jogging track here. However, a new addition on Celebrity Beyond on deck 16 that you won't find on any of its sister ships is the mass bar. The mass bar is actually a staple bar you find on other classes of celebrity ships. In response to cruiser demands for more bars and lounges, this outdoor bar is now conveniently located on the starboard side of Deck 16 Sun Deck and serves a pool bar menu. Now, cruisers lounging on this upper outdoor deck don't have to go far for a classic cruise cocktail. There are actually additional loungers and some seats near the mass bar that offer shade if you want to distance yourself from the pool deck. Heading down to deck 15, there is one public area that is all the way forward, and that is the fitness center. Tucked away on deck 15, the state-of-the-art fitness center includes weight machines and cardio equipment, and will take your fitness goals to the next level. There are also plenty of free weights, a stretching area, and several dedicated spaces for fitness classes. Not to mention, the floor to ceiling windows offer great views while getting in your workout. Here, you can also find an expanded F45 training studio, specializing in high intensity group workouts and ride cycle classes. Powered by Techno Gym, these classes give you a real road cycling experience. Fitness classes on Celebrity Beyond are an upcharge unless you're staying in an aqua class cabin. And the fitness center is open 24 hours a day. If you want to take your workout outdoors, you'll enjoy the dedicated multi-story jogging track. Rising two full decks, the jogging track on Celebrity Beyond is uniquely worked into the design of the pool deck and outdoor sun decks. Whether you walk or run, most of the path is a dedicated space. It takes approximately five laps to equal one mile. Midship on deck 15, you'll find some lounge chairs, including some areas that are in the shade. Heading aft, you'll find one of our favorite outdoor spaces. The rooftop garden on Celebrity Beyond has been enhanced to an even more tranquil space. With a reconfigured seating area and stage, and even more greenery, this urban playscape is one of our favorite areas on the ship. The rooftop garden hosts a number of different activities and events throughout the cruise. It's home to live music, crew staff led activities, lawn games like ladder ball and bago, as well as outdoor movies. Along with the redesign, the cruise line has added two cantilevered float pools off the starboard side of the ship. This tucked away pool space offers an alternative to the resort pool, coupled with more relaxed vibes and stunning ocean views. The rooftop garden grill is an alfresco specialty restaurant which features some mouth-watering options fresh off the grill. Situated in the rooftop garden, you'll have fantastic views while you dig into classics like baby back spare ribs, roasted chicken, and other barbecue favorites in the sophisticated alcove. The Sal Fresco restaurant offers cruisers a unique dining experience with some newly added wind protection for an upcharge of $25 for lunch and $45 for dinner. The venue is open select days for lunch and open nightly for dinner from 5.45 p.m. to 9 p.m. Reservations are required. Perhaps one of the biggest enhancements on Celebrity Beyond is the reimagined Sunset Bar all the way aft on Deck 15. Quite literally, this space is nearly twice as large as previous Sunset Bars and is now a two-story space that offers unobstructed views. Designed by interior designer Nate Burkis, this al fresco bar derives inspiration from summer days around the world to create a casual yet elegant beach club vibe. The result is an expansive space with a pergola-covered entrance 
and artistically designed walkways, guiding guests to the U-shaped bar. Along the way, you'll find plush covered sofas, as well as some comfy tables and chairs to enjoy some drinks and good company. With live music in the evenings, an updated bar menu, and even some Mediterranean tapas, it's no surprise this is one of the most popular bars on the ship. Most days, the Sunset Bar was open from 10 a.m. to midnight. At the heart of the spa on Celebrity Beyond is the Sea Thermal Suite. This thermal suite, located all the way forward on Deck 14, features eight distinct spaces. Access to the thermal suite is complimentary for all Aqua Class guests. And other guests can purchase thermal suite passes for the day or the entire length of the cruise. During our sailing, passes were priced at $82 for the day or $259 per person for a week. The experiences in the sea thermal suite include a traditional Turkish bath, a crystallarium, a salt room, a steam room, infrared sauna room, float room, rainfall water therapy, and some heated loungers. The thermal suite is open most days from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Of course, Celebrity Beyond also features a spa with your typical treatments, from massages to facials, manicures and pedicures, and more. One tip we always have is to take a spa tour on embarkation day. Not only will you learn about all the treatments offered, they often offer discounts and raffles that include free treatments if you take the tour. Within the spa on Celebrity Beyond, there's also a barber shop and a salon. The barber shop offers shaves, cuts, and beard and neck trimming. While the salon offerings include collars, cuts and styles, makeup sessions, and more. Leaving the spa on deck 14, and heading towards the center of the ship, you will find the Solarium. The Solarium is the adults only pool area, which is reserved for those who are 16 years of age or older. The central pool is enclosed by a glass dome, meaning it's always a pool day, no matter the weather outside in the Solarium. The bright blue decor and sculptures give this area its own unique vibe, separate from the resort deck pool. Not to mention the Solarium pool is surrounded by plenty of loungers for those looking for a relaxing sea day, either facing the pool or outward facing loungers, which have views of the surrounding landscapes. Located in the Solarium, you will find the spa cafe and juice bar, serving up healthy options as an alternative to the buffet for breakfast and lunch. The spa cafe is open for breakfast approximately 7 a.m. to around 10 a.m. and for lunch open usually around noon to 2 p.m. The venue features small plates and smoothies, which are covered in the premium beverage package. All the food here is complimentary. So this is the perfect spot for a quick bite to eat while relaxing the solarium. Do know, however, that the solarium on Celebrity Beyond does not have a bar. Now, if you're like me and looking for something with a little bit more substance to eat, exiting the Solarium on the starboard side, you'll find another casual dining spot, the Mass Grill. This outdoor casual eatery is a great place to grab some lunch or a midday snack while lounging poolside. Serving up burgers and fries and some other grill favorites, the Mass Grill is open daily from around 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. It does offer some tables in the shade or you can just grab a snack and head back to your lounge chair on the resort deck. Another tip here is that you will find a self-serve, soft-serve ice cream stand in the Mass Grill on Celebrity Beyond. The heart of Deck 14 is the resort pool. This stunning asymmetrical space boasts a 25-yard lap pool surrounded by terraced pool deck and new sunken seating areas. 
This wide open space is similar to beyond sister ships, but it feels more open. With loungers facing both the pool and the ocean, cruisers can have their pick of views. This pool deck is certainly one of the more visually stunning pool decks on any cruise ship. It definitely felt as much more sophisticated, upscale feel than the competition, truly making you feel like you're at a resort rather than on a cruise ship. While on the pool deck, you can't miss the signature art installation. While it might not be our favorite of these signature hallmarks, it's certainly Instagram worthy. Of course, the resort pool deck has its own bar. Visually, you can't miss this bright bar as the art installation above it is the focal point if you're looking forward on this deck. The bar serves up the pool bar menu. With favorites like frozen daiquiris, beer, wine, and zero proof cocktails. We're big fans of the traditional seating on the starboard side, as well as the new furniture and open deck space located right in front of the bar. Another enhancement made to Celebrity Beyond is repositioning the resort pool cabanas. Now, these starboard side cabanas face the pool deck. This makes them feel more inviting, as opposed to the orientation on the other two ships, which actually has the cabanas facing a walkway. Besides the positioning, the cabanas on Celebrity Beyond look about the same in terms of style, size, and accommodations. Cruisers looking to reserve a cabana can do so pre-cruise or talk to one of the attendants once on board. Typically, reserving a cabana comes complete with a selection of cocktails, food, and personalized service for the day. While technically the magic carpet can be found on different decks throughout the day, we tended to spend the most time at this cantilevered multi-use space and one was parked poolside on deck 14. The starboard side floating deck offers some comfy furniture, a signature drink menu, and unaltered views. When on the upper decks, this is a popular spot for those wanting to feel the ocean breezes while enjoying a vanilla mojito. When down on deck five, cruisers can enjoy dinner on the edge of the ship. The venue becomes an extension of Ron 5, serving a distinct food menu. Although during our cruise, we don't recall this experience being open. Finally, when on the gateway on deck two, the magic carpet becomes a tender platform, making it easier to get ashore. Finally, aft on deck 14, you'll find the Ocean View Cafe. The Ocean View Cafe is your typical cruise ship buffet. This casual dining spot offers traditional favorites as well as cuisine from around the world with a menu that varies daily. For breakfast, which usually runs from 6.30 a.m. to 10 a.m., there's your typical selection of eggs, pancakes, custom omelet station, breakfast meats, and various fruits and continental breakfast options. Lunch is available from noon to 2.30 p.m. Dinner is offered in the Ocean View Cafe from around 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. with pasta, pizza, and salad available till 1 a.m. The venue serves a wide variety of globally inspired cuisine in a casual setting. The options do rotate, but you can often find a grill, Indian specialties, Latin favorites, cheese and cold cuts, a pasta station, salad bar, and more. For dinner, there are also various theme nights. The Ocean View Cafe offers plenty of comfy indoor seating, as well as al fresco dining that blends seamlessly with the newly designed two-story sunset bar. Further, located inside the Ocean View Cafe is Il Secondo Bacho, which offers espresso-based drinks and a limited menu of spirits and adult beverages located on the port side near the entrance to the Ocean View Cafe. At the very aft of the cafe, you'll find the Ocean View Bar, which serves up all your adult beverages. Another good tip is they actually do have espresso at the Ocean View Bar as well. And in the mornings, there's usually not a long line at the Ocean View Bar to grab drinks.
Decks 12 through 6 are all staterooms. During our five night sailing, we stayed in an Infinite Veranda Aqua Class stateroom. Cabin 9246 was our starboard side stateroom, located next to the aft elevators. It offered the ideal location for accessing either the pool deck or indoor areas. According to the Celebrity Cruises website, the room measured 243 square feet with a 42 square foot balcony. Immediately upon entering the room, our bathroom was on the left. Likewise, our bed was located right after the bathroom, facing aft, with the closet tucked around the corner. Beyond the bed, there was a sofa on the left, and a desk and dresser on the right. The desk includes several outlets in one centralized location for charging multiple devices. Honestly, we're not fans of the Infinite Veranda. We prefer a more traditional balcony. For us, this arrangement is essentially a glorified window. Inside, the main hub of the ship is found on decks 3 through 5. This area includes venues familiar to those who have sailed on the Edge Class, as well as some new additions found on Celebrity Beyond. On the starboard side, starting forward and walking toward the middle of the ship, on deck 5, you will find the Art Gallery. We suggest you admire the artwork and just continue walking. As you continue walking to the heart of the ship, you'll find the next new addition to the Edge class. Found on the Solstice class ships, on Celebrity Beyond, the World Class Bar makes a comeback. The World Class Bar features a newly crafted drink menu with favorites like the Rose Water and American Pie Cocktails. This Deck 5 midship establishment showcases fresh ingredients and the finest spirits for a sophisticated night out. The bar is the perfect spot to grab a pre-dinner cocktail before dining at one of the nearby specialty restaurants. The venue tended to open around 4 p.m. in the afternoon and stayed open late. Across the way, you'll find Raw at 5. This a la carte restaurant on Deck 5 offers a variety of seafood favorites, including sushi, mussels, the famous seafood platters, and other land meat sea options. With a fresh and open dining room concept offering ocean views, you can enjoy lunch here on sea days from around noon to 1.30 p.m. and dinner nightly from 5.45 p.m. to 9 p.m. Across the way, on the port side, you'll find the Fine Cut Steakhouse. Perhaps one of the most upscale steakhouses at sea, Fine Cut on Celebrity Beyond is certainly a slice above other similar venues. This restaurant offers succulent starters like a lobster cocktail and regatta yaki. Further, there are several premium cuts of beef which pair well with gourmet sides like bacon mac and cheese and the Guerrero tater tots. With a sleek, sophisticated dining room overlooking the Grand Plaza, this upcharge restaurant is open nightly from 5.45 p.m. to 9 p.m. for a cover charge of $60. Of note, there's an additional $20 charge for additional entree orders. Like our previous experiences, our meal at Fine Gut did not disappoint and still ranks as one of the best steakhouses at sea. As you continue walking aft on Deck 5, you'll walk by a few boutique shops featuring high-end watches and jewelry as you continue towards one of the more unique areas of the ship. To get from midship to aft on deck 5, cruisers pass through the interactive art installation known as Odyssey. This trippy hallway is as mystical as the remainder of this deck. With sculptures, light, and sound, the multi-sensory experience transports you to a whole new atmosphere. Exiting Odyssey, you are now at the aft of deck 5. Here you'll find the Blue Restaurant. 
Blue is an exclusive restaurant for aqua class guests on celebrity cruises. This intimate space features elegant blue and white decor alongside a menu with cleaner, healthier options. Blue is open for breakfast and dinner daily. The venue is usually open for breakfast from around either 7.30 or 8 a.m., running to about 9 or 9.30 a.m. And dinner is nightly from 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. The dinner menu does change nightly, offering guests plenty of choices if they choose to dine here each evening. Also, cruisers can order from that evening's signature menu items. So you have the best of both worlds. Our experience at Blue was honestly on par with the MDR, in our opinion. Across from Blue, and new to celebrity, is a small gourmet chocolate shop Le Maison du Chocolat. Since opening the first luxury Parisian boutique in 1977, Le Maison du Chocolat has reimagined the world of chocolate. Celebrity Beyond marks the first boutique at sea, offering the signature Coffrit Maison and gesture gift boxes, along with select chocolate bars. Other retail changes on Celebrity Beyond is replacing the Tiffany's Boutique in this area with Mont Blanc which features watches, leather goods, and more. Finally, aft on deck five, cruisers arrive at Eden. Awaken all your senses in this breathtaking three-story venue. Like its sister ships, Eden on Celebrity Beyond is a dynamic space that transforms throughout the day and the cruise. While at Eden, cruisers are immersed in the ever-evolving multi-sensory experiences that transition from chillful to playful, to wonderful. During the day, guests can enjoy the outward facing views from the variety of seating options on decks five and six, and participate in activities like arts and crafts, or take in some easy listening music. In the evening, cruisers are treated to interactive experiences unlike anything else at sea. Two new shows are part of Wonder at Eden Entertainment series. Decadence invites cruisers to a magnificent manor with champagne flowing from every corner of the space. The show features a completely different performance cast with two lead singers, a small dance troupe, and circus style acts. The second show, Paradise, is a celebration of the vibrant and lush world of Eden. With the same performance cast, this show entices the audience with a mix of song, dance, and impressive feats. Of the two shows in Eden, this one was our favorite. Beyond the actual multi-use entertainment space, Eden is also home to a cafe, bar, and restaurant. Found only on the edge class of ships, the Eden Cafe is a casual and complimentary venue, which is open for breakfast and lunch. For us, the Eden Cafe is a nice change of pace from the buffet. The location allows for a beautiful aft views and some comfy furniture to go along with it. There's also limited alfresco seating on both sides of the ship. Offering warm breakfast sandwiches and a few other favorites like homemade cinnamon buns, this is a great morning stop for a quick bite. The Eden Cafe is open for breakfast on sea days from around 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. For lunch, the venue has paninis, warm and cold sandwiches, a few specialty salads, and a daily carved sandwich. This venue is open for lunch daily from noon to 1.30 p.m. For something more exotic, the Eden Bar offers some of the most unique drinks at sea. This craft cocktail venue mixes up unique and adventurous libations that are just as tasty as they are photogenic. So be sure to grab a drink while enjoying the signature nighttime productions here. While tasty, several beverages at this bar are above the allotment on the premium beverage package. Thus, you'll need to pay the difference plus the gratuity. Perhaps the most unique restaurant on Celebrity Edge's class of ships is the Eden Restaurant. When you enter Eden, you want to head aft and down the flight of stairs to discover the specialty restaurant venue. On Summer Beyond, this restaurant now offers both a seven-course tasting menu or 
you can choose your own appetizers, entree, and dessert. Some of the tantalizing options include a GNC ceviche, pan-roasted carbonaro shrimp, and fresh grouper. The price to dine at Eden is $60, and the venue is open nightly from 5.45 p.m. to 9 p.m. Of note, you do not need to dine at this restaurant to enjoy everything else Eden has to offer. The main entrance to the multi-deck theater on Celebrity Beyond is all the way forward on deck four. This circular stage has a thoughtful design and function, affording uninhibited views of the 180 degree stage and screens. The theater on Celebrity Beyond introduces all new production shows that are exclusive to the ship. A 20 foot tall 4K LED screen curves around the stage and integrates with the new floor projection technology for next level production shows. During our cruise, we were able to watch all three of the new signature productions. The award-winning Arte features a talented cast of dancers, singers, and free tracks to bring famous art pieces to life. While a toss up, my next favorite show was Stage Door. While Heidi enjoyed Elements more, Stage Door is a more traditional Broadway review show, featuring a varied range of songs and energetic dance numbers. Elements showcase various acts from acrobats to strength and balance performers. Again, it was also a captivating show with strong vocals and talented performers. While exiting the theater on the starboard side, you'll find the celebrity shops. Along with duty-free options, this is the main logo shop on the ship, where you can pick up Celebrity Cruises and Celebrity Beyond branded merchandise. Ship models, t-shirts, and other accessories are available. Other fashion items are also available for purchase. On the port side is the club. This two-deck multi-purpose lounge is open day and night. During the day, the club hosts a variety of activities, including trivia, game shows like Deal or No Deal, and even an escape room type challenge. In the evenings, the venue comes alive with music and signature entertainment, including resident performers and brand new shows. Late night, cruisers can even dance until the wee hours with the resident DJ. Whether on the dance floor or relaxing the ultra hip lounge area, you can sip some musically inspired cocktails from the nearby bar. Soul Town at the club is a lively tribute to the classic tunes of Motown, found exclusively on Cyber Beyond. Also new to the ship is Jazz Joint. Featuring the same cast of performers from Eden, Jazz Joint invites cruisers to a speakeasy with swinging jazz tunes and a prohibition inspired show with singing, dancing, and aerial acts. This intimate show should not be missed, but make sure to get there early for optimal seats. And who knows, you could become part of the show. As you head towards the Grand Plaza on deck four, you'll find several service areas. On the interior of the ship, there's the future cruise planner's desk. Here, guests can take advantage of onboard deals and promotions to book their next celebrity cruises vacation. Across the way from the cruise planners is the shore excursions area. With several touchscreen kiosks, cruisers can review tour options and excursions for upcoming ports of call. Staff members are available select hours to answer questions or to help individuals with pre-booked tours who might have issues or need to make changes. Beyond the shore excursions kiosk is the photo gallery. Here, cruisers can review all of their onboard photos at the digital touchscreens. Like many contemporary and premium cruise lines, photographers can be found around the ship snapping photos of your cruise vacation. With a swipe of your room key card, you can use the screens to determine if any of the photos are worth purchasing. Perched above the Grand Plaza is a new to Celebrity Beyond specialty restaurant, Le Voyage. This restaurant is in partnership with Chef Daniel Balud 
the cruise line's global culinary ambassador. Travel is an inspiration for the menu, featuring a variety of global flavors. At this exquisite and intimate restaurant, guests can opt for a set five-course meal for $125, or choose their own selections for an appetizer, entree, and dessert for $75. There's also an optional wine pairing for an additional $100. The meal was one of the highlights of our dining on Celebrity Beyond. Some popular dishes include the tamarind and peanut crusted prawns and the Brazilian moqueca. Also located in the Grand Plaza is Cafe El Basho, which is the go-to venue for Java lovers on Celebrity Beyond. As your coffee bar at sea, Cafe El Basho serves up signature espresso-based drinks, coffee cocktails, and tasty sweet treats. Lattes and other specialty coffees and teas are included in both celebrity beverage packages. All pastries and food items are complimentary and they change throughout the day. The cafe features continental breakfast items in the morning to cakes and other items later in the afternoon. Unlike other atrium cafes though, this venue does not offer sandwiches or other such lunch type items. The venue is typically open around 6 or 6.30 a.m. to around midnight. And it's the perfect spot to hang out and people watch day or night. Across the way on the port side of the ship, you'll find Le Grand Bistro. This French inspired eatery on deck four offers specialty dining for lunch. At night, this venue turns into the Le Petit Chef, a digitally enhanced dinner experience, which includes a four course meal and a show. Le Petit Chef on Celebrity Beyond does have a different show and menu than the other Edge Class ships. During the show, you learned how to become the world's greatest celebrity chef. Unfortunately, the show nor the menu items were a favorite of ours. Still, this digitally enhanced meal is always a fun time. Le Petit Chef is available for dinner at either 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. nightly for a cost of $60. Of note, this is a set menu, but there's an alternative menu that does not go along with the show. For lunch, Le Grand Bistro is priced at $30 per person and is open noon to 1.30 p.m., usually on sea days. Menu options include Molos Fritas, Escargot, Baguette Sandwiches, Soups, Steak Frites, and more, in addition to a daily special. Debuting on Celebrity Apex, the new craft social is also found on Celebrity Beyond on Deck 4 Portside. This casual lounge features a large selection of craft beers, along with wine and specialty cocktails. The menu also includes light bites like truffle fries, beef sliders, and chicken wings at a la carte prices. This is the perfect place to gather with friends and perhaps catch a game on one of the large screen televisions. Midship on the port side of deck four, near the craft social, is the casino. For a ship of this size, the casino seemed to be an adequate size. One big improvement is that there's no smoking allowed in the casino. Like most cruise ships, the casino includes a mix of slot machines and table games. Surprisingly, they did have the wife's favorite slot machine, but the bank was almost always occupied. As usual, the casino was only open whenever the ship was not docked at a port of call. Finally, the first two of the four complimentary restaurants are found on Deck 4 aft. On the starboard side, it's a Cypress restaurant. And on the port side, it's Cosmopolitan. With celebrity select dining anytime. Cruisers have the option to dine at any of the four complimentary dining venues. Each of these restaurants features the same list of signature dishes that rotate nightly, as well as a list of classic dishes that remain the same throughout the cruise. Where these restaurants differ is the exclusive sections of the menu. Cosmopolitan is married after an upscale American eatery. It's actually the most similar in design and layout to the typical main dining rooms you find on most cruise ships. 
From the walk-through wine display at the entrance to the venue's warm decor, you feel right at home here. The Cosmopolitan's exclusive menu includes items such as salmon, oxtail, pan-seared black cod, and carrot cake. Cyprus is a Greek-themed complimentary main dining room on Cyber and Beyond. The color palette has been updated in this venue from the other Edge Class ships to now feature regal red and gold tones with nods to the sea. Representing the company's Greek heritage, the exclusive menu items remain focused on seafood and other Mediterranean dishes like cheese sakanaki, grilled octopus, lamb shank, and short ribs. On deck three, Camp at Sea is Celebrity Cruiser's youth program, which can be accessed via the forward staircase. This program offers some 500 activities, all supervised by youth staff and organized based on age groups. These activities can include arts classes, games and challenges, and even the cruise line STEM at Sea program, which engages, entertains, and informs kids on varying topics such as marine, wildlife, and conservation. Shipmates is for kids aged three to five years old, while cadets are for those six to nine years old. Cadets can also participate in activities spread throughout various venues, including the lawn club games, campouts, and movie nights. Older kids aged 10 to 12 are known as captains, and they can enjoy even more freedom while on board, while participating in scavenger hunts and various sports and gaming tournaments with kids their own age. While we've been walking around it the whole time inside, the centerpiece to the interior of the ship is a Grand Plaza. This centerpiece of Celebrity Beyond is a three-story Grand Plaza. This transformational space offers a different experience every time you visit. With more space, a centralized bar, and cascade seating, the Grand Plaza is more inviting than ever before. It is more spacious and open than the similar atriums on Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex. Featuring lighting that changes from day to night and lively chandelier shows, alongside live music and great drinks from the Martini Bar in Deck 3, you'll find yourself spending a lot of time here. Not to mention, there are several restaurants and bars that overlook the Grand Plaza on Decks 4 and 5, which you already know all about. So you can always be part of the action, even if you're grabbing drinks somewhere else or having dinner. The larger and more centrally located focal point of the Grand Plaza is a martini bar. And honestly, this is the most happening bar on board Celebrity Beyond. The martini bar is filled with an energetic crowd and highly talented bartenders with a beautiful grand chandelier. It's certainly a hub of nighttime activity. The specialty martini list includes favorites like Banana Fosters, and the uber popular espresso martinis now on tap. These drinks pair perfectly with the craft mixology skills of the friendly bartenders. Continuing aft on deck three, you'll come upon guest services. Open 24 hours a day, the guest relations desk is staffed with helpful crew that can answer questions you have or resolve any issues that might pop up during your voyage. For more casual, hotel lobby-like feel of this area on Celebrity Beyond gives the space a warm and inviting charm. Nearby is the Eye Lounge. This is Celebrity's chic approach to the Internet Lounge that's also the first authorized Apple specialist at sea. Here you'll find state-of-the-art Apple technology to use as well as purchase. This convenient out-of-the-way location is a nice new addition to Celebrity Beyond as it frees up space on the upper decks for other public venues. All the way aft on deck three are the two remaining complimentary restaurants. On the starboard side is Tuscan, on the port side is Normandy. Like the other two dining venues, these dining venues are open nightly from 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. for dinner. Cruisers can make reservations pre-cruise or choose to walk up when they are hungry at any of the four locations. We did both options and never waited long for a table. Every morning of their cruise, one of these main dining rooms is also open for breakfast. 
The restaurant normally opens around 7.30 or 8 a.m. and stays open till around 9, 9.30 a.m. This venue serves all of your typical breakfast selections in a sit-down format. Further, one of the main dining rooms offers lunch from around noon to 1.30 p.m. on sea days. Like the two other restaurants on deck four, these two restaurants on deck three each offer their own exclusives menu. Of course, cruisers can also opt for one of the signature dishes on the rotational menu or one of the classics that are available every night. Tuscan is a complimentary Italian restaurant on Saturday Beyond. The venue is designed with the influence from modern Italian fashion and film, with mostly black and white decor and pops of yellow. The exclusive menu items include Tuscan shrimp soup, eggplant bruschetta, a Tuscan pork chop, sorzabrita carbonara, and more. Normandy is a complimentary French-inspired main dining room on Saturday Beyond. With decor influenced by summertime in Paris, this restaurant features warm pink and red tones, ornate chandeliers, and large accent furniture. The exclusive menu items include dishes like baked brie, a beef tenderloin, pan seared duck, and more. Lastly, heading down to deck two, you'll find the basement. No, literally, that's what it's called. Located midship, this is the teens only area for those aged 13 to 17 years old. It's accessible only via the midship elevators and stairs. Here, teens can hang out at space designed exclusively for young adults, where they can socialize and participate in teen focused activities and events. These can include sports competitions, silent disco parties, and video game tournaments. Youth activity staff are on hand to supervise teens and lead group activities. Also on deck two, you will find the Destination Gateway. This area is a modern, multi-purpose space that transforms from a luxury embarkation station into an intimate setting for destination enrichment talks and additional programming. When docked, those wishing to go ashore are able to easily exit the ship from this open and well laid out space. When returning, cruisers are quickly processed by security and welcome back on board. When tendering is required to go ashore, the magic carpet becomes an extension of the destination gateway and serves as a launching platform to ferry cruisers ashore. When not used for embarking or disembarking guests, the space can also host private events or talks. Now that you've explored every single deck of Celebrity Beyond, do you want to know what's really like sailing on the ship? Well, you should check out our Celebrity Beyond Cruise Review. In that video, we go into detail about everything you would like to know about the dining, onboard activities, entertainment, and more. We cover everything about a cruise on Celebrity Beyond to help you decide if this cruise ship is right for your next cruise vacation.